Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Claudia. Today we're making a very delicious pesto chicken and asparagus recipe. This recipe is really good and very very healthy and great for meal prepping. So let's get started. I'm going to start cutting the chicken and I'm using chicken breast but you can use chicken thighs for this recipe. I just wanted to keep this really healthy. I have some olive oil heating up and I'm just going to throw in my cut up chicken. Go ahead and season this with salt and pepper to taste. Mix everything in and you're going to let the chicken cook for about 2 minutes. Next I'm adding in some sun dried tomatoes. Allow the chicken to cook with the sun dried tomatoes for roughly 5 minutes. This is going to give the chicken really good flavor. Next I'm adding some basil pesto that I picked up from the grocery store. Mix everything together and let the chicken continue to cook for an extra 5 minutes and this was smelling so good you guys. So after 5 minutes you're going to take the chicken out of the pan. So when you've taken your chicken out of the pan you're going to saute some onions and you don't have to add any more oil just use the oil left in the pan. When the onions have developed a little color you're going to add in some asparagus and season with salt and pepper to taste. Toss everything together, let the asparagus infuse the salt and cook down a little bit. Toss in some more sun dried tomatoes and this is going to cook with the asparagus and give it so much more flavor. Try not to overcook the asparagus because you want it to be crunchy. Alright next you're going to toss in your chicken. I also added some cherry tomatoes. Give this a quick mix and at this point you're done. If you don't like the taste of raw tomatoes, just cook this for an extra 5 minutes. You can serve this over brown rice but I like to serve mine with a whole grain wrap and then I sprinkle a little bit of my favorite cheese over it and I toast it in the oven and it's ready to be enjoyed. You can also meal prep this recipe and keep it in the fridge for up to a week and you have yourself a great healthy and delicious lunch or dinner for the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me today. If you ever try out this recipe, don't forget to tag me a photo on Instagram. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure you do because I have a lot more delicious recipes to come. Bye!